little bit more fluid if you did like one over a hundred or something, but all right. Your show. You ready? Your show. <laughs> Intro us. What's up, Slackers? We're here at uh, Gamers Nexus. Uh, in between, I guess, our... LN2 stuff. LN2 stuff. We were doing 3970X. Uh, we lapped that. You guys saw that, obviously, from our awesome video that yep. we had in, on your channel. So, uh, well, we're in between, and we were coming up... We have some issues, basically. You have these... You have lots of issues. Well, yeah. But specifically, this is the one we're talking about today. He's one of them, too. Yes, that is true. No, but uh, we have these beautiful Trident Z Royals. One of the problems we have when you're benching them, you can actually kind of see it on here, that it's wet, it gets soaked. And what happens is, is that heat spreader is basically um, getting too cold and it's causing the memory to mess up. We, I have a bunch of things that I was doing, but uh, to kind of like redirect air over it, but I think it's probably better if we just remove the heat spreader. And I always get that question on, how do you remove properly a heat spreader? So there's the, the there's ways to do it, and then there's my way, I guess you can say. <laughs> yeah, so in our experience, Patrick and I have had to remove heat spreaders a couple times to figure out the specific modules on a stick of RAM. Yep. And the challenge with it is when you pull it off, for the ones that are really glued on there, and most of them are, it's not like a thermal pad, it's normally a thermal adhesive. Oh, yeah. And it's really bonded. So there's definitely some concern of either bending the PCB or potentially ripping components off I've the PCB. I've personally done that too. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people, they'll, they'll have like, they'll try to wedge something in there. They'll heat it up. I mean, you can heat it up a little bit, but when you're sticking something in there to pry. Uh, it's also, wanna... it's always hard to heat up a heat sink yeah. to try and remove it because <laughs> that's for sure. That's its job is to it's, sink heat. It's a so heat sink. It yeah. takes a while. And, and memory uh, vendors tend to use like some like, I don't know if it's made out of like, I don't know, it's made out of something. It, it doesn't want to remove, basically. The adhesive? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've had, I've, I've tried to, maybe like 10 years ago, I used to try to take them off and I'd try to wedge like, a, like you know, the paste spreader mm -hmm. and stick it in there, heat it up, stick it in there. And then there's a couple times when you get a little bit impatient and, and I've taken it off and it, I've literally had the IC taken off with it. You so. just, or you just scratch the crap out of it and it's possible yeah. you, you hit a trace or something. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to do anything like that. There's a lot of small copper wire in there, a lot of it's surface level. You can even see the indents in the top yeah. of the stick. So, yeah, so your trick I'd never seen in person before, mm -hmm. and I was pretty amazed at how how effective you go from it is. from this yeah. to this. So we want to go, so the, these are special modules. I've went through a bunch to get these, so um, we don't want to kill them. So instead of going through the whole process of trying to heat them up and pop them off because we also takes forever yeah it, it, it's really i don't know it's really bad it's really kind of annoying it's not really fun and risky and very risky so so the the trick joe's got involves liquid nitrogen which does make it a little bit less part. makes it less accessible unfortunately but yeah. i mean i don't know that i really have a great recommended alternative to ln2 no. if you had if for some reason you had to do this on a lot of sticks like maybe you you need to go through eight or something for a server build for whatever reason. I would actually consider driving to like uh, to okay. a, a welding supply store and just to get saying, some LNG, yeah. yeah, can you fill up this bucket and just let me throw these things in it? Sure. I mean, <laughs> it they might let you do it. So. Sure. so I mean, it doesn't take too much. You just you get a, a, a nice plastic bucket. I mean, or a, pretty much any bucket. And I, I want was a strong bucket, I guess. Strong for sure. I don't know like if there's any risk of shattering. I would. Yeah. Pay attention to that. You maybe Test it I, out before you do it. Pour liquid yeah. nitrogen in the bucket and make sure it doesn't do anything before uh, yeah. you do it. We, I, we already tested this one out, so we know. Maybe eye protection so. or something. But yeah, yeah so um, it works well. We've got a Lego bucket from the 90s. So eye protection. I think that should be about as, as qualified as you can get for a bucket. And how much you want? Do you want to like yeah, just fill it. kind of the bottom layer of the bucket? Yeah, just fill up that uh, one thermos. Yeah, one thermos. And Make sure you get good views of you struggling with that. <laughs> Actually, I emptied it a lot before, so. You're welcome, Steve. <laughs> Take a 
technically be guard. There it goes. There it goes. Did you get that shot? Yeah, I love how it just popped out. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think they make it with the intent for you to shove your shove hand, your hand in there. What do you mean? It. I think it's just for handling it. There we go. I think it's definitely cold because it's still white. There we it's go. There's ice. Yeah, oh, that's cool. That'd be a cool time lapse. I mean, it's not much of a time lapse. <laughs> I guess a slow down would really be more of what it is. Room, room temperature. Joe, can I play the role of internet commenter? Sure. There's water on it. You water. killed it. Yeah. As long as you don't power it. Remember. No, water, water's fine. Water's bad for Power's fine. Water's bad Just for don't electronics. Mix water and power. Yeah. But Joe, there's water on it. Shut up, Steve. We got a spot reading on the uh, PCB. Can't do this on a shiny part in case anyone doesn't know that. Because then you're just getting reflecting temperature. Trying to get on there we go, PCB. What is it? Like thirty degrees Celsius, which is probably where we roughly are. Andrew, is it scary to know that you don't control this video and how it's edited? <laughs> it's very comforting. Very comforting. <laughs> so we were friends, Drew. I'm just going to start calling you Patrick again. And everyone else on the internet. I know, right? Everyone's Patrick. If you don't think it's going to come off without ripping it off, don't rip it off. Is <laughs> that more? Interesting how that works. Test with one and then go through the others. And yeah, that's what you get. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks. It, Steve made it difficult, so that's what I'm saying. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. ready to bench? Yeah, so now we get to actually bench with the memory! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we uh, basically just went through and showed you how to basically do. Uh, take the heat sink off so uh that's pretty much it i mean you, you really just have to be careful uh you don't want to ruin things for no reason you know, you know what i mean <laughs> you want to go through and do some uh i don't know you want to enhance your benching not uh stifle also it, uh, definitely be careful of what you choose to put alan do in obviously yeah because we're, we're, we're we being, broke his lego thing i mean barely but i the concern would be that the difference between cracking and shattering <laughs> Yeah. But we're being a little cavalier here because who cares? Because so. we like to have fun. That's how we roll. Also, it's easier. Yeah, it is too. We're trying to do a lot in a little amount of time. Yes. So. But yeah, so uh, I don't know. That's pretty much how you uh, want to take a heat spreader off. And uh, we're going to end up using these all day tomorrow on the 64. Yeah, 64 core. Core. And but. I guess by the time your video goes up here, that'll yeah, be done. Will. So we'll have a stream recap up too if you want to catch the highlights. Yeah. So it's uh, been a good time, and I guess that's it, but slagger out. Slagger out. I love this slagger out. You can cut it. Cut! Cut! Want to be Patrick? Want to be Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> that was weird.